Dawson, baby, or Motsi, or Hong Kong memoir. I had dear Bassabasan, and once the air cosso. Now, no, and I China this year, one of our gunner has a woman cabumco, and the one year Babets Nagana, a year Jumano, one more Akasa, Etsia, dear Cosso, or Hong Kong, baby, China for no Etienne. They are all supporting one China, two systems. They are opposed the violent demonstrations. They support the central government decisions. They support the Hong Kong SAR government. And uh, so those justice positive voices sometimes and most of the times, uh, if you watch the BBC or CNN, you will, they will tell you, they will tell you another story, a twist story. Their reporting is selective, as I said just now. They didn't report the voice and concerns of the whole people of China, 1.4 billion people. They said Hong Kong demonstrations is peaceful. The Facebook and Twitter said, you know, if you don't, uh, if you support the the policy of central government, if you support the policy of SAR, Hong Kong government, they will delete your account. So this is very unfair. The Western media is misleading people in the world. They are also playing a role of incitement of violence in Hong Kong. So now I would like to give you a history of Hong Kong. First, Hong Kong is an inalienable part of China since history. However, the British invaded China and occupied Hong Kong in about 170 years ago. Hong Kong became a colony since then. It's just like a bandit, a hooligan, forced into your house and robbed your property. So this is a crime by any definition. Uh, when, China, uh, when we become strong, it is natural we take Hong Kong back. And uh, now the Hong Kong is back to China. 22 years ago, 21 years ago, the justice is done. So the Hong Kong returns to China in 1997. To maintain the prosperity and the stability of Hong Kong, the central government of China allows Hong Kong to maintain, to keep its system, that is the capitalist system. Yes.